community came together today to say goodbye to Kayla Campos. She was the 21 year old shot and killed at an Albuquerque park after witnessing a robbery. News 13's Courtney Allen was at her memorial mass today. The church here was full of family and friends, all remembering the life of Kayla Campos. Her father devastated after losing his little girl. When you ask Carl Campos what he misses the most about his daughter Kayla, everything about her, it's hard for him not to become emotional. I love you, baby. Police say Kayla was playing Pokemon Go with her boyfriend at Bianchetti Park two Fridays ago when he says they witnessed a robbery in progress. When Kayla started to drive away, someone fired shots at her car, killing her. Today, family, friends, and other community members gathered at St. Bernadette Catholic Church for a final service for the 21-year-old. Her parents will then take her remains to Scottsdale, Arizona, where they now live. There's no words. I mean, a parent should never have to bury their kid. She was the rock of this family, actually. She kept us together. She was the glue. And it just, it kills us that she's gone. Carl says this pain is all too familiar. He says Kayla's boyfriend, Sidney Toller, lost his brother last year to gun violence too. Skyler Monday was shot to death in July 2018 at an apartment complex near San Pedro and McLeod. Unsolved to this day. This city's going to turn into a cesspool of violence and it's not going to be safe for any of our kids growing up here. Carl is calling for more resources for local law enforcement while trying to find strength to carry on. Everything that she stood for, everything that I taught her to stand for, the love of life, the love of her family, the love of her community, everything that, that she embodied keeps me moving forward. Carl says his daughter was about to go to Arizona to be with family before hopefully starting dental school early next year. He says that her dream ever since stepping foot on El Dorado High School for the first time was to become an oral surgeon. Courtney Allen, KRQE News 13. Police have not released any updates on the case or identified any suspects.